what did you buy a used car a used car we do not have money now what the we do not have money that's why you depend on my weakness satisfy you and i keep it Back to my YouTube channel, guys. First of all, let me take my microphone. Okay. okay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. If you're new here, I'm MJ. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Kindly indicate in the comment section if you're a new subscriber. If you're yet to subscribe, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's free. Subscription is free. <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, how are you? I hope you're fine. I hope you're good. I hope your family is well and I hope that so all is got, well with gotten, you too. Since we got our car, right, I got a lot of questions about um, uh, where did you buy your car, what's up with insurance, you know, E2C. And, you know, it's nice, it's pretty, is it new, is it this? Well, I felt like it's quite obvious that the car is not new. So that question kind of threw me off like, oh, it's not, it's obvious, if it's new, maybe it's from the dealer, it's from Kia office that I will start snapping pictures. <laughs> but actually it's not. And yeah, so just in order to just respond to some of these questions, I felt like, you know, ah, let's have this video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you why we got a used car. Are you okay why didn't you go for a new car right there's a lot of um, opinion around this particular topic yeah and i'm also going to um highlight if you're going for an, a used car i'm going to highlight certain things that you should actually look out for that you should know and look out for before you go for a used car mm -hmm. And then lastly, we're also going to talk about, uh, I'll give some websites where you can get used cars from, like safe websites that I recommend that you can get used car for. Anyway, without wasting much of our time, let's get started. I cannot say that I'm shooting. It's hot now, that's why I'm shooting. Ow. I've been standing very long. Come on, you're looking at me like this. Mm. It's my smile for you. No, no smile for you. Yeah, I think I'll I'm going to wear your hair. I'll buy you. Wait, you're recording? I'm still recording now. You didn't know. Didn't know. So guys, where were we before my husband interrupted this video? I can't even remember. Anyway, let me just quickly give a quick rundown of what we're going to discuss again. We're going to talk about why we got a used car. Secondly, we'll talk about what you should look out for when you're buying a used car yeah, in the UK. I'll give you top five recommended websites to get a used car if you're interested in one. And lastly, we're going to talk about the important things that you need to do immediately after you've purchased a used car. So let's get right to it. One, number one reason why we got a used car is because that is what we could afford at the moment. And it's just reasonable. My husband just moved to the United Kingdom to join me in January. We're newly wedded. We spend a lot of money on getting married, even though it was a very simple wedding. Yeah, and also on migration, coming to the United Kingdom to practice as a doctor is not a joke. It's a lot of money involved, right? Relocation is a lot. And when we got here, we had to again, you know, move to a new location because I got a new job, which is, which has been a lot on us. It's barely settled, you know, and I kind of felt like it's only reasonable at the moment for my family. When we got here, where we're coming from in London, transportation was easy. As a matter of fact, if we were still staying in London, we would not be getting a car yet because it's an additional expense on the family at the moment. So that's one of the reasons, right? Coming to this place in Northampton, they 
the transportation system or the links are just not reasonable. Imagine driving to my hospital is about five to seven minutes, but taking a bus, right, or walking is about 25 minutes. Same thing, taking a bus and walking. So, I mean, just to make life easy for us, we're like, you know, we had to buy a car. That's the reason why we had to even buy one at all. Old or new, we couldn't afford to do that at the moment. It's only reasonable to get what we can comfortably afford and, you know, we can comfortably maintain as a family. All we need is something that can take us from point A to point B. And that's exactly why we got a used car. Number two reason, uh, which I already literally mentioned, is that we urgently needed a car like it was pretty urgent for us to have a car right now because of the messy transportation link in northampton three reasons why we went for a used car again is because of course it's less expensive so the insurance policy or the heavy insurance payment is lower okay we are first time drivers in the uk the two of us my husband to answer the question that asked about what kind of license are we using my husband has got an international driver's license from Nigeria. I have got a provisional license. Although I've taken on my I've taken my practical, but because of the whole movement and getting married and everything that happened towards the end of last year, I had to move my examination, my practical examination. Practical driving examination, right? Yeah. So we are both new drivers. And because of that, that impacts heavily on your insurance. Okay, so so the amount of the car, the car model, the brand of the car, they all impact your insurance. Okay, so we can all afford to pay extremely expensive insurance. Yeah, because the more your, the more expensive your car is, the more expensive your insurance, especially if you're a first time driver. Currently, our insurance is about one fifty pounds. Yeah, because of Two drivers on the insurance okay two new drivers on the insurance and then lastly, we cannot afford adding loans to our bills right now which is quite similar to what I have discussed in my first reason we just cannot afford it if you're buying a new car we cannot it's not reasonable that will take 40,000 pounds cash down or 50,000 pounds cash down to go and buy a car no we cannot afford that yeah so we would want to do finance right so it means that we'll, we'll have to be paying a certain amount out of our salary every month yeah which for me is not reasonable it's not a do or that affair at the right time you you will do it there's no pressure okay the two of us are bent lovers <laughs> but at the moment it is what it is yeah. So now let's talk about the five important things that you need to look out for when you're buying a used car. Number one thing is the car brand or model. The car brand or model in this country that a lot of people recommend are like, um, of course, Kia, Toyota, uh, Mazda, Golf, right? According to research and from speaking with other people, right? These car models are very, very low maintenance. They're low maintenance, they're affordable, and um, they have good resale value. Okay, so if you want to resell your car later, even though it's used, it's something that you will easily sell. Okay, even if it's a new car and it's of these models, you will easily resell them. Okay, so the first thing you want to look out for is the car brand and of course the model because the model of the car also impacts when you want to resell it okay and i feel like the older a car is the older the older the model of a car is a the more likely it is to give you issues so don't go for models that are too old right something from 20 from from 2010 upward might make sense our car model is care and a car brand is Kia and it's 20, it's model is, I think it's Venga 2013. That's the name of it. And so far, this car has been amazing. It's not pushed any 
any issues for us it's been fine and we're enjoying what it you look okay. out for is the number of users how many people have used this car before you and that's a popular saying or a popular opinion that um the more the users the actually the better the car <laughs> so for instance if you got a car and the car has had like say three users and they're sending it to you again it means that the car is good yeah for them to be able to sell it from one person to another it means that the car is good and some must also believe that the more the users the more likely the car is going to give you issues because it means that they are selling probably selling it off because something is wrong with it but majority of the time it is the other way around the more the users actually the more likely the less likely it is to give you issues okay so you want to check the brand the model and you want to check how many users were before you i think our car has had three users before us <laughs> so you the third thing you want to look out for is the mileage so the mileage is how long the car has covered <laughs> i mean how long the distance the car has covered and it's usually on the on the dashboard of your car it indicates the mileage i think our car is about 90 no it's around 86,000 the mileage <laughs> or oh, the driver go <laughs> but for us it's, we most likely oh, obi takes it to work it drops me to at work we go shopping <laughs> we've not really been out of no time soon apart from when we went to get it so we're good okay so i think any mileage below 100,000 is reasonable anything beyond that hmm, that car be, be ready to sell it as soon as possible but then sometimes it's about luck yeah i've seen i've seen people that actually get cars that have more than 100,000 and this car is still saving them so buying used car in the uk is actually more like a game of luck to be honest all those things are just things that you can do to at least be safe right and the fourth thing you should look out for is the car history the history of the owner okay as the car be in an accident you know why are they selling the car you want to know these kind of things yeah you want to know how many times it's been something has been repaired blah 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 because this sort of information can also kind of impact your insurance yeah slightly you want to know about the road tax how much road tax on the car or is there a road tax at all so you want to know as much as possible about this car that you you want to that is used that you want to buy and then lastly mot mot is full mini i think it's ministry of transport <laughs> so mot is a test that you need to do on your car and that certifies that checks the overall worthiness, road worthiness of that car road worthiness in the sense that is that car worthy to still be on the road is it worthy of still being driven so you want to know the last time the mot on this car was done and it should be at least maybe like few months right at least few months for it to expire yeah so that will tell you if they are running from something right so these are the things that you need to actually check out and look out for when you want to get a used car the other things like the size of the engine this and that but all of this are minor compared to the other five important things that i already listed okay so now that we have discussed these things that you should look out for let me give you a list of websites where you can get used cars from so number one website that i highly do recommend or do our car is not from this website yeah our car is from a friend's uncle that deals with selling cars gets the cars and if you check out and this and that right and it was the one who got his car he did not get it on any website he got it from a direct dealer a direct business partner that he knows okay 
so that's another way you can do it you can get it from people that you know which is even safer right um but there are websites where you can actually get used car and have guarantee over the cars right you can get your money back if it's not working in certain within, uh, within certain period and you're not satisfied so that's why these websites are safe one is auto trader so if you go to google and just punch in the names of this website they will pop up so auto trader you set your filter to what you're looking for and they give you varieties of options right and another one is car gurus car gurus is also a great option if you want to get a car in the uk a used car in the uk another website is car zoo i've gotten um i've i read a lot of reviews good reviews about car zoo so i recommend it so auto trader car gurus car zoo what one is car supermarket so if you go to car supermarket you will see varieties like they'll give you different codes different things <laughs> different options and lastly we have um moto point on moto point you can even sell your car the cars are nearly new they have great reviews and of course home delivery like the rest of them is also available there are loads of websites where you can get cars in the uk but make sure you do your due diligence by reading through reviews and make sure that these websites are websites that offers you um they offer you warranty or a cover kind of because you're getting a used car People also make use of Facebook. I mean, I've seen people who got their cars from Facebook. <laughs> but when dealing with Facebook, you have to be very careful. They will ask you to, you're paying cash, of course, and you may not see that person again. And you, may not, you won't be able to get your money back because it's cash. Okay, so you, some of them will tell you, and before we see you, drop a deposit. Ah, it's karma. That's calm. Okay, don't drop any deposit for anybody. Make sure you see the car, run the engine, you're happy with it before you drop any money. And usually you can uh, you can tell them that you pay half in cash and pay the rest via a bank transfer. That's more reasonable and safer. So now let's talk about the things that you should do immediately after buying a used car. <laughs> the important things that you need to do the top important things that you need to do the first thing is you need to register your car you need to change the ownership change the car ownership if you go on government websites you'll be able to do that and i'll also drop the link for that in the video description so check i mean so you register the car you swap the ownership that's the Second first thing. thing is you need to get the road tax sorted. Road tax is usually not very expensive. Yeah, I think 20 something. Our ours is around 23 pounds or something. And some cars, they don't pay road tax. It's not every car, right? Depending on the year or for that model or the model. Yeah. The third thing, you want to get insurance. Yeah. Before you drive the cars around in the UK, make sure that car is insured because especially as a first time driver if anything happens and your car is not insured you're gonna be fined heavily okay so you want to make sure that you sort out your car insurance asap okay and a website that you can use for car insurance to get quotes that reasonable quotes is um i think you can use confused.com so confused.com we give you loads of insurance companies and you select the one that works for you. I think ours is Marshmallow or something, right? You get the one that works for you. And the things that impact your insurance is like your parking space. You have a parking space. If it's off-road parking, if you don't have parking, you know, things like that. First-time driver kind of license. If you've been driving, if you... The kind of drive, how many drivers will be on that insurance, etc. Some people get insurance declined. They don't, they are not offered insurance. So be careful when you're filling out insurance. Make sure you ask questions around insurance before you apply for one. Fourth thing you want to do is you want to do your MOT. Depending on how, how, um, how soon the MOT, the current MOT, on that car is gonna expire 
yeah you need to run another mot i think has is like a month or so a few months but we still did mot because we want to show that at the point where you bought that car the mot is still good it's still uh, the car still pass mot passes mot so you need to do the mot again and lastly do a deep clean do a deep clean of the car there might be people that have had maybe pets and maybe you are allergic to it you know just do a general deep clean of the car so that it's shiny and it comes off like a new brand new car <laughs> so uh yeah these are the things that i wanted to share with you uh, i hope that you found this video useful I got this question and I just felt like I shouldn't ignore them. I love to respond to your questions, guys. So that's why I shared this video. I had a different video in mind before, but just to let me respond to this before I forget about it. Okay, uh, I see a lot of people have shown interest in knowing how nursing practice is in the United, you know, United Kingdom and United States. They want to know why. You know what which one do i prefer uk or us what do i think i haven't practiced in the us i have been practicing in the uk although i have my reasons for starting and getting my registration with usa of course so and i did some research so i will share a content around that like to do a comparison between the two yeah so hopefully i share that soon so look out for that video if you're interested yeah i think that's literally it so um it's been a few days of driving our car <laughs> and let me show you it's been a few days of driving our car it's parked over there if you can see like i told, mentioned earlier it's not giving us any issue at all our baby is running well it's running fine <laughs> yeah so if you have i don't have anything against new cars guys it's just that we cannot afford it if you have the money if you have the fund please by all means go for a new car N buying a new car is safer it takes away a lot of headache and a lot of worries for you i hope that you found this video helpful if you did find it helpful kindly give thumbs up if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please subscribe and join your family <laughs> and i'll see you guys in my next video until then take care and bye